Hi, I'm Sophia Kay. I'm on We Found New Music with Grant Owens, and this is a song I wrote called Scorpio. Can I just ask you this? Are you okay? Are you afraid? Are you afraid of something? Can I just be honest? You're like the night, always so quiet, as it's so dark and mean. Oh, no way. You're fake, covering your mouth when you're saying hi. Oh, my brain can't calculate Why you're looking to the left when you know you're feeling right Whoa, you Scorpio I can't even look at you cold like a stone Chilling up and down my spine I'm tired and crying Your mascara won't dry Pretty girl, your hell's angel Whoa, whoa Scorpio, Scorpio Scorpio, oh, oh, Scorpio, 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 oh, oh, Are you afraid of death? I know I'm not, I guess I'm tough, I guess I'm tough like you. Are you the fruit of sin? Got the eyes of a spider, you're such a liar, but your venom is what I'm drowning in. Oh, your heart. So dark, you remind me of a snake when you roll your eyes. Oh, this game you play, I'm losing because you don't even let me roll the dice. Whoa, you Scorpio, I can't even look at you cold like a stone, chilling up and down my spine. I'm tired and cry, your mascara won't dry. Pretty girl, your hell's angel. Whoa. Scorpio, 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 oh, 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 Scorpio, 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 oh, 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 You Leo wants to dance, but you're leaving the party like I'm obviously waiting for you. Tell me you're sorry, darling. Where do you go when you stare off like that? Where do you go when you stare off like that? Hide in your face? Are you dumb or insecure or out of place in your hellish empire? I've got claws to give to someone else. I'm better off with someone else, yeah. I'm battered and bruised, and you know what you're doing, don't you? You should be sorry. My kingdom is falling, you got my skin crawling, but I must resist, I'm a king. Whoa, you Scorpio, I can't even look at you cold like stone, chilling up and down my spine. It's time that we left, and your ghost has no head. Then the lion has woken up. Whoa, oh Scorpio, 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 oh oh oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Hi, I'm Sophia Kay, and I'm on We Found New Music with Grant Owens. This is a song I wrote called Reinvent the Dead. I want to travel the whole world with you. I won't ever lose. When I die, I'll grow a flower or two to light up the tune. And you and I will be recorded in paintings, commanders of the stars. The gods will be waiting. Remember when said you'd stay here forever in stories told our love will go on i left to live in the trees forever even after the world explodes our love will go on i'm tired of feeling all the streets so burning i'll reinvent the dead yeah His voice, so oh, take me away to another place. Will time travel to the past and in a castle? We'll dance all night because we can. And you and I will be recorded in legends. The phoenix and the wolf, the fire can catch us. Remember when I said I'd stay here forever? In stories told, our love will go on. But where?
it's all right Hey guys, I'm Grant Owens on We Found You Music. We are thrilled to be joined by 16-year-old Sophia Kay from Toronto here in Los Angeles. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. This is awesome. We are thrilled to have you. You've played the We Found You Music Showcase two times now. Yes. One when you were 15 and now you're 16. Yes, it was a pleasure both it, times. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. So welcome to the show. You just performed a couple songs for us. What did you play? I played two songs I wrote. One was called Scorpio and another was called Reinvent the Dead. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you so much. And are those out now? <sighs> no. <laughs> they will be. Okay. Yeah. Well, keep keep an eye out. Of course, Soul is out now. A few yeah. others are out now. I have like five singles out so far, but this year is going to be a, a release, a releasing like just all the time, like throughout the year, through the fall into the new year. I hope to release a lot, so yeah. Now you're 16 now, uh, you got started early. Talk about your music journey and starting at such a young age. Okay, so yeah, I mean, um, my whole life I've always been singing. Um, I grew up in like a pretty musical household, so it was like, it was like I was kind of already in that environment. Mm -hmm. um, when I was younger, I took piano lessons, so it was always kind of just around. Um, and I started writing songs uh, when I was about like seven, eight years old. Um, it was just something that I found really fun. And it was kind of like, I just kept doing it more and more and more. And it was something that I just like had to do um, <laughs> to function. Mm. Um, so later my dad um, started submitting my songs into songwriting competitions. Um, and I mean, cause I was like 11 or 12 at the time. So I wasn't going to go and like play a club or, you know, like it, it was not like something I could do cause I was just limited, um, at that age. So he thought it was a good idea to get my music out there. Um, and it was, it worked. Um, my publisher now, Benjamin Groff, mm -hmm. he, uh, discovered me through one of the songwriting competitions, Great. um, for one of my songs, Astronomy Rose. And he, um, yeah, I signed a publishing deal with him when I was 13. Um, wow. And in the same way, my manager, Michael Dixon, he found me through one of those songwriting competitions as well. So. All right. Yeah. Shout out to Michael Dixon yeah. and Ben Groff. We definitely love both of them. Absolutely. Now you have released a cut with a K-pop group. And how do you say their name? TXT. TXT. <laughs> yeah. How did it feel to get your first cut with a cake pop group? Oh my God, that was insane. Like, cause I, um, well, it was my first cut ever. So it was like a big deal just for that reason. But when I was like in middle school, I was like a huge fan of K-pop, like just outside of music. So like in general, I was like obsessed with like BTS sure. and TXT is under their company. So like, it was almost like I had been like staring into like the K-pop world from a distance, like every other fan. And then suddenly I was like in it <laughs> and I yeah. was like, what? Um, it was so wild and I was, I was super excited. And like all my friends were super excited because they love K-pop as well. <laughs> so yeah, it was certainly a big deal for me. Mm -hmm. um, I also, I got recently, I got another cut with Girls' Generation, another group. Um, and they're releasing their first album um, August 5th, uh, their first album after like 2017, since 2017. So it's a big deal. That is a big deal. Yeah, for them. I'm so excited for them. It's been a while and I'm just so happy that I have a song on there. It's We're amazing. We're so excited for you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So congrats on that success. 
Thank you. So let's get to know your background a little bit. Tell me some of your favorite artists. Oh, wow. Uh, well, I guess I'll start from like the beginning. When I was a little girl, like a small little girl, um, my dad showed me the Beatles. That was like the first group or a band I'd ever known. Um, so I was like a little bit obsessed with them as a young girl, which is kind of hilarious. Um, <laughs> I used to love watching all the movies. Like there's Help and then there's mm -hmm. Hard Days and Night. That was a lot of fun for me. Um, and then another huge one is Taylor Swift. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I've grown up listening to her music. I know all the lyrics to all her songs. Um, I've just, her lyrics are incredible. I think she's like awesome. Um, who else is there? I, I love the album Fine Line by Harry Styles. I was like, on my Spotify wrapped, Adore You was like the top song that I'd listened to all year. So that was on repeat, repeat, repeat. Yeah. Like, so like that album is like everything. Um, other than that, like, I don't know if you guys know like Princess Nokia. Mm -hmm. She's a rapper from New York and her album 1992 is so sick. She's awesome. I remember you mentioned her before. Yes. Awesome. Well, it's She's great awesome. to get to know you a little bit better. And yeah, of I course. I did not know that the, the Beatles was, was uh, a group <laughs> they grew up with. Same, same thing with yeah. me, but that's a great basis to any songwriting for sure. For sure. I'll just mention yeah. Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. He's the last one I'll mention. He's, oh, he's amazing. Every album is a hit. Well-rounded. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how has your LA trip been? It's been super great. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. This is the second time I'm back. Mm -hmm. um, it's and you been played the first time too, right? Or was that a different trip? Remember the first performed? time, yeah, earlier in the spring, I played We Found You yeah. Music. That was awesome. That was the first time. I was definitely nervous. Um, did but you the feel second time, a little time, less nervous the second yeah, time. Yeah, I did. I know. I was. I was happy that I wasn't like freaking out because it was like I, you know, I knew the space. I've been here before one time, but you know, that's something. <laughs> um, and. Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, it's been crazy hectic. Um, I've had like back to back to back um, songwriting sessions throughout the, uh, yeah, throughout this trip. Yeah. Um, for other artists, it's been a lot of fun. Um, and uh, I mean, at least on the weekends, my parents and I have found some time for fun. <laughs> um, we went to the beach like last week, which was great. I mean, like the water was freezing. Oh, yeah. But I'm used to like Canadian lakes, so it was nothing. <laughs> it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. So you would have thought it would be warmer in California. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, and yesterday we went to Universal Studios, mm -hmm. which was super fun. I love Harry mm -hmm. Potter, mm -hmm. so I had to buy a Hermione Granger wand, <laughs> and it was that's very proud of that purchase. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything about that, but I'm sure it's amazing. Yes. Uh, so, are you enjoying writing for other artists? Um, that's kind of a different direction than writing for yourself. You know, are you enjoying writing with different artists yeah. versus writing for yourself? Yeah, it's been like really cool. Like it's definitely a new world for me, like co-writing for other artists, like, cause I'm used to writing alone. So yeah. it was, and, and for myself. So it was like, okay, this is definitely a different approach that we're taking here. Um, so it's usually like I go into the session and there's like, typically like me, another writer and uh, a producer. And we kind of like decide an aim for the session. Um, often there's like an actual like inquiry brief that we follow for a specific artist, um, but it's a lot of fun. And yeah, I'd say like there's a, there's quite a big difference between doing like co-writing for other artists and uh, writing for myself. Mm -hmm. um, I personally don't co-write on when I'm writing for my own songs, I've always, written my songs 100%, um, just because it's, for me, it's like, I mean, I'm sure it's this way for a lot of other writers as well, but it's a very like personal, of course. organic process where it's like, it pretty much like, just depends on how I'm feeling that day, that moment, what I'm into at the time, what chord progressions I like, what concepts, uh, titles I, I like, um, and it just kind of like, comes together like that, very fluid. Um, with like, whereas like co-writing for other artists, um, and my, like at least on this trip, it's been very much more like deliberate. So it's like, we'll go and we'll, we'll kind of just like know what we're doing. It's more like calculated and we'll kind of pick apart things more um, for like an end goal, which is a lot of fun too. Like, it's really fun like going into it and like saying like, let's write 
the most upbeat pop song, happy pop song we can right now <laughs> and pitch it like, uh, or like write the saddest breakup song we can. Like it's very playful yeah. in that way. So yeah. Okay. Well, they're both very different experiences. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us, Sophia. Yeah. Um, are you going to be releasing any music in the future? Oh, I think I know the answer to this. Yes. You do. There, um, yes, there's going to be a lot more music. I have yeah. a lot of songs I haven't released yet, and I'm so excited to share them with everybody. Um, so, yeah, in the fall, uh, I will be releasing my next single called Cute. Um, okay. Very excited for that. And then continuing into the new year will be more releases. And, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're I'm very excited. excited to be along for the ride, and please... You're always welcome back. Oh, you know, we found a music family. Wonderful. Um, we're thrilled to finally get you here in the radio studio as well. Sophia Kay again here, 16 year old from Toronto. And thank you for playing those tracks. Cute is coming up soon. Yes, it is. So, Sophia, <laughs> thank you for joining us. On thank you we for having music. me. Thank, thank you, you for, so much. Thank you.